Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a companion AI for uh, Invector player. So, uh, for adding companion, we can uh, move to our Invector and we can select uh, Mili Combat and create simple Mili AI. But before creating companion AI, we have to create a controller for it. So we will select the AI Mili. I just have added this enemy uh, uh, in our scene. And if we select this uh, controller, you can see this is the Mili controller. We can duplicate it, Control D. And now we have another uh, duplicate of this Mili controller. So we can rename uh, the duplicate and we can uh, name it companion or uh, whatever you want you can uh, add and then uh, we can just go to invector uh, milli combat and then simple milli ai and here we have two type of uh, enemies enemy ai and companion ai we can select companion ai and then we can add a model so in plugin wolf 3d we have some models i will just uh, drag drop this model in our fpx model and uh, for animator we can select the animator which we have created and uh, if you select animator controller here you can also select the uh, animator controller from uh, mili combat ai but i am going to add uh, the another uh, uh, controller which we have created specific for this purpose so if we select uh, mili uh, and if we click here we can drag drop companion controller here okay and then we can click on create now the next step is to uh, select uh, mili ai i will just uh, copy the component transform and companion ai i will just add it uh, here okay so now uh, for companion AI, we will make some more uh, settings and the first setting we have to add is uh, Mili Manager. So uh, we will select our companion AI, we will go to Invector, we will go to Mili Combat and we will add component Mili Manager. Okay, so this is important for creating uh, hitboxes and attacking to our enemy. Uh, now we will add some more settings and if you will open Mili Manager you can see that we already have enemy and our companion should attack enemy so this field is uh, okay and for uh, other properties in simple Mili AI if we move to uh, detection you will see that we have uh, tags to detect and here we have selected player so we will select enemy because our companion will de detect enemy only and also here in layers to detect we will also select enemy uh, one more thing which we have to do is to select combat section uh, not combat section actually we will select the uh, uh, I will select uh, the locomotion I think uh, uh, yeah this one waypoint okay so we will select waypoint and here we can uh, add waypoint area uh, uh, for the enemy and the that waypoint area uh, we can add for companion as well uh to follow the enemy okay but in this case we are not adding waypoint area and uh, we will just uh, testing uh, the functionality and if you will create a waypoint area it will be more accurate okay uh, but this section the very important thing is current target here okay so we have to select current target transform so here we will add ai mili okay and the character we will add companion ai like this this is very important okay otherwise it will not work and collider target we have to add ai mili so it, it can hit ai mili now okay so now when we will add these things then if we play the game then hopefully we will see that a companion 
uh, will respond to our enemy and enemy will detect companion and he will attack hopefully so let's see uh, whether uh, they will attack you can see that our companion goes towards enemy and they are fighting absolutely nice okay and also definitely for companion and enemy as well we can add some more weapons like sword or archery etc if you want to add okay so now you can see that uh, we have successfully created our companion ai and currently the companion ai only available for melee so uh, we can't create it for shooter uh, as a shooter so for time you can use this um, uh, companion ai for your games uh, let's meet in next video goodbye